Hello, my name is Sam Brooks. I'm a mobile programmer for Tool Hut USA. Today, we're going to be programming a used PCM in a 2005 Chrysler 300 using the J2534 toolbox. Uh, what you're going to need is the J2534 toolbox, downloadable from DrewTech.com or your supplier's website, and a Drew J2534 device. We're going to start with opening the toolbox. We're going to go down to Chrysler. And in Chrysler, you're going to see PCM VIN reset. We're going to read the VIN. We're going to clear the VIN. We're going to turn the key off. And then we're going to write, type in the correct VIN. And then hit write ECM VIN. Now, once we have done the VIN, we also need to do the SRI, or the Service Reminder Indicator, which is right below the PCM VIN reset. I'm going to do it exactly the same way. I'm going to have to turn the key off another time or two here, uh, as opposed to the, what the VIN reset was. And notice that your mileage is going to show up at 8 mile increment, so it's not going to be the same as what you type once it's written. Uh, don't be concerned with that just so it's close to uh, the vehicle that you're working on. And after we're done writing the SRI, we want to make sure we get the latest calibration or the proper calibration in this car. So we're going to use the toolbox. We're also going to op open the tab that says read part number. So we're going to read the part number from the controller. It should also bring up the correct VIN when we do this. So make sure that it pulls up the correct VIN. If it doesn't, redo your VIN reset. You did something wrong. And then we're going to go to techauthority.com. You can access our subscription. The site's a little confusing if you haven't been here before. J2534 Flash Application Process. Then you scroll down to somewhere where it says click here to download ECU files. So you're going to put the VIN number here. We just copied it from the toolbox. We're going to paste it in here. And here's all the proper calibrations for this VIN number of vehicle. Uh, the calibration number in this PCM happens to match one of these numbers. Um, and it's the right one for the for this vehicle. So we do not need to program this car. I'm going to turn off the key for a couple of minutes. Remember, we haven't tried to start it yet. After it sets for a couple of minutes, it should start right up. Thanks for watching my video today. Please subscribe to our channel for more programming videos.